What's going on guys? Eric here. It's another day. Good to be back. While we wait for some parts for the FC07, we managed to pick up another build. 2004 Mazda RX-8. Before I show you around, let's get this thing washed up so we can really see what's going on with this thing. What's going on guys? Eric here. It's another day. We ran out of sunlight last night after we washed the car, but that's okay. Went ahead and let this 90 degree weather air dry the car for us. Now there is a lot to do on this car. We'll quickly go over what we need to do. At least we're going to get one rotary back on the road. So let's have a look and see what kind of damage we got going on. Alright guys, so this is the biggest bit of damage on this car. The story has it this was sitting on the side of the road and somebody came and hit the side of the car while I was sitting there. And if you can see, it's kind of hard to see the sun, but you can see where the brunt of the force on this frame took. So we'll probably get this on the frame machine and pull, pull it a little bit, but it'll be all right. I mean, for the most part, it's not uh, it's not too bad. It looks good like that, though, don't it? So we'll look for a front end. Luckily, RX-8 parts are pretty cheap. Moving on over here. Both headlights, this headlight looks good. The driver's side headlight is definitely damaged. And if you look at all these wheels, Every single one of these wheels on this car has some form of road rash or another. It's like they decided to curb every wheel for, for kicks. So we'll probably pull these wheels off and get them refinished. It's unfortunate they curbed every darn wheel on this car. Over here on this door, it looks like they, they hit something. They're nice crease in this door. Again, RX-8 parts being so cheap, we might be able to just find a used door. And then this, it's like they also hit something after they hit whatever they hit with the door and decided to push this in. I'm hoping after we pull this wind wheel liner out of here, we might be able to pop it back out. And then if you look at the back, it's like they continued on and just hit the entire back bumper here. Should be too bad. Now this is the worst wheel on this car. It's definitely been curbed a few times and you can see every last bit of paint is starting to rust or come off of this thing. Now it's hard to see because the sun putting a nice shadow and everything, but it looks like any other RX-8 engine bay. Nothing extravagant. I guess the question really is how much we're going to have to pull these frame rails underneath it here. Shouldn't be too much. Both of them are kind of shifted off towards the passenger side. That's alright. But the biggest lingering issue on this car is that hideous yellow color we got everywhere. That's definitely going to be changed. car's definitely full of dirt and grime. Definitely been sitting a good minute. There's a lot of crap in here. I don't know what's going on here. That's uh, it's like insulation or something. We're definitely missing a piece that goes up above that. Not much in here at all. Same old, same old. For a car jack, etc. You got your little, in case you decide to get stuck in here, release. Cue the montage. I really appreciate you guys watching this. I'm pretty excited about this build. I used to be a big rotary buff back in the day. It's been a minute since I've had one, but it's pretty cool to be able to get one of these cars back on the road, especially one that's been sitting for years. We got a lot of work ahead of us. 
but it'll be well worth it. So until next time, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more action. Thanks.